the producers and distributors of Tech AV technical training material welcome you to this program on the subject of pressure vessel inspection and testing. In this program we will be dealing with procedures involved with compressed air receivers. During the program you will learn about the regulations and procedures involved in correctly conducting the mandatory test of a receiver under the Occupational Health and Safety Act. By definition, an air receiver is a pressure vessel. A pressure vessel under the Act is defined as a container designed to withstand an internal pressure above that of atmospheric pressure, whether caused by gas, liquid or a combination of both. Again, by law, any classified pressure vessel must be inspected and tested every 36 months by a competent person in the presence of an authorized inspector. Every pressure vessel must display a manufacturer's nameplate. Not all nameplates will be identical, but typically the following information should be provided on them. The name of the manufacturer, the country of origin, the manufacturer's number, the year or date of manufacture, name, number and date of the standard design, the maximum permissible operating pressure in pascals, the design gauge pressure in pascals, the capacity of the vessel in cubic meters, and the mark of an approved inspection authority. Further, every pressure vessel must have its own record book that is to be maintained by the user and open to inspection by the local authorities. Every pressure vessel should also be certified with a compliance certificate issued by an authorized inspection authority upon purchase. The primary reason for all this legality is safety and the purpose of regular inspection and testing is continued safety for the working life of the vessel. After the break, we shall begin the inspection procedure.